Hey guys, welcome to Panthera Torah, and today we actually have a video that is really cool to me. Um, I think it could mean a lot to Planet Zoo. Obviously, if you guys have read the title, you already know what I'm talking about, but somebody has managed to actually mod the game. Now, there have been a couple projects I've seen floating around, but this one is one of the first ones to actually come out that people can download and actually use. So this is freaking awesome. It's like revolutionary for Planet Zoo. Um, now, this one that I'm talking about, as you can see, according to this and you reading the title, will happen to be the African Buffalo. And as, well, if you've played the game, you know what I'm talking about. The Buffalo is just a standard black, uh, I believe it's a Cape Buffalo, if I'm not mistaken. And as all these guys go crazy because there's Buffaloes, um, we are actually, well, ironically, they're going crazy for, I don't know, whatever reason. But I have all these buffaloes that we can transfer over to our zoo. So, we are going to start doing that, and I'm actually going to add another caretaker and keeper. That way, hopefully, these buffaloes get moved over faster. Um, now, one thing I want to say as they are bringing the buffaloes over is that I would say modding is kind of at your own discretion. Um, I don't believe that modding is supported by Frontier, so I wouldn't risk it too much. But if you are a diehard modding fan like me and you kind of want to have those... Oh, she just had a baby right there. Wow, cool. Uh, if you're a diehard fan just like me whenever it comes to modding like Zoo Tycoon... God, that wall's not working. Uh, then this is just one of those things that you can literally do to pass the time. I used to literally just get on Zoo Tycoon just to mod, like, and that was about it. <laughs> it was just constant modding from me. Hours and hours, hundreds and hundreds of mods, and sometimes it just got ridiculous to the point that it crashed my game. So yeah, there's a small risk with modding a new game like Planet Zoo that doesn't officially support modding. But again, that's totally up to your discretion. Uh, and look at that little cute baby, he's so cute. So this mod basically it only mods the African Buffalo and it really, that's it. As you can see, everything else is still the same. The Zoopedia is still the same and everything. So really it's just kind of down to uh, uh, aesthetics. It gives you a brownish orange colored African Buffalo. Now I believe uh, the developer, which his name, I actually need to shout him out a little bit, MJ Manella. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. He told me his last name is Italian. So um, yeah, thanks a lot to him. He's actually working on other mods as well. Uh, but there's, there's a couple modders out there uh, along the lines of Hendrix and I think the other one is M NJD if I'm not mistaken very short name I don't know why I can't remember those three letters but there there's a lot of really cool mods out there but this is just kind of the start of it we're getting these reskins they're very easy to put into the game and speaking of putting into the game make sure you back up your files uh, you don't want to end up having to re-download your game if you want to get the original one back so definitely do that and if you're playing online I would suggest not modding at all uh, I would only do this if you're in sandbox mode or some kind of offline mode, like the offline franchise mode. Uh, but yeah, it's it's very cool, very very cool. Um, there's a lot of mods that are going to be coming out hopefully sometime soon. Uh, one that I've really been keeping my eye on is a woolly mammoth that uh, I believe it's NJD is putting so much freaking time into it. Like he's he's taking his new model of the mammoth wherever he got it from or if he made it or what I saw he was making the actual skin on there and why am I watching a baby poop <laughs> um, basically he's taking that model and he's actually throwing on like a shader so it looks as good if not better than planet zoos based animals which I think is amazing like somebody to be putting in that much work is just it's, that's dedication I really appreciate people that do that people that realize that this game is meant to be good looking and not just a joke. So like I've, I've always felt like Frontier doesn't want mods in their games because people they think that people won't take it seriously and they won't develop something as 
like high quality control is what they make but obviously people are out there like uh mj manila or did i say his name right i'm so sorry if i said your name wrong yeah mj manila uh out there taking these super seriously they look really good and of course there has been those fair share of things like uh, he also made a mod where I would like to think it's kind of a proof of concept how they put a African or a Galapagos tortoise on a African lion and it looks so goofy but it's not one of those things it's meant to be played around with it's just like well this is this is a this is this is what we've done and there's just a weird looking turtle lion walking around <laughs> it's it's funny to see but it's not one of those things I would like to be covering or I would like to have in, in my game so yeah, I definitely like little mods like this, and of course that that um, uh, woolly mammoth to be coming up. That's that's super amazing. That's gonna blow my mind when it comes up because he's gone into details as like making the menus work properly. There's proper zoopedias, proper food and stuff like that. That is so cool. It, it is absolutely amazing, and the shading thing kind of blows my mind that he's putting that much effort into it. So. Uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, feel free to leave a like. I will leave a link to the African Buffalo in my description. That is from ModDB, I believe it is. Uh, hopefully more mods will be coming out on there. So yeah, feel free to leave a like, feel free to subscribe. Uh, I, will, I will be making plenty of videos like this. Anytime I see a new mod come out, I will be covering it like that. I couldn't snap, so there, there's the thing. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm going to leave a comparison of this buffalo to the original Planet Zoo Frontier based black African buffalo uh, in the pictures. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will definitely see you guys in the next one. So, bye.